I like to give all praises, glory, honor, and respect due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. I would like to give double honors to DL, the Apostles of the Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of Israel on the earth set up today to rule well. And, uh, I got a quick little lesson on being circumspect. Uh, the Spirit put it on me to do this because uh, I felt I wasn't being circumspect enough. So I just wanted to um, put this little lesson together and bring it out and share it with you brothers. The first scripture I'm going to bring out is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. And um, circumspect means accurately, exact, diligently, uh, or careful. So it says, seeing then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. You are considered wise if you get these these books, these laws understood in your head, because that's where your wisdom actually comes from, is these books and these laws, these statutes, these commandments, these chapters in this book. And walk basically means just to live by. So if you live exactly or accurately accordingly to these books to these laws these statutes, and these commandments you are being wise you're not walking as a fool um verse 16 it says redeeming the time because the days are evil and um i want to go into the definition of redeeming real quick this is out the um the winston simplified dictionary encyclopedia edition this is the word redeeming. It says to buy back something formerly possessed, to pay off as a permissionary note, to recover as mortgage property by paying a price, to free from bondage or a claim of any kind by paying a ransom or price, to ransom or free from sin and its consequences and um this is the point right here to make good so if we go back to ephesians chapter 5 verse 16 it says redeeming the time to make good of the time because the days are evil matter of fact i'm gonna read 15 and 16 together it says, seeing then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the time because the days are evil man we living in a wicked ass time it's 2017 it's the year of death and destruction also so a lot of shit about to be kicking off a lot of brothers could get hurt if you're not being circumspect and circumspect oh it means also to be like aware you got to be aware of the times that you're living in like how it's 2017 the year of death and destruction but not only that say if you're out there on the line you got to be circumspect to what's going on in your surrounding because my f people can come up on folly and just try to grab one of the brothers, do something wicked to one of the brothers. Like, anything can happen out there in the streets. It's Babylon the Great. You, you, wouldn't be, eh, you shouldn't be surprised at the type of shit that could happen out there. But um, I got a precept in Colossians. I got to get the Colossians chapter 4, verse 5. It say, walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. It say, walk in wisdom to door them without, to those that are without. So them that are without, the ones that don't have this understanding of this book, the ones that don't know for real the law, statutes, and commandments. You should be, if you got a light, man, you got to let it shine. I remember when we was in church, when I was younger, they, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, even though the shit was wicked. I can use it today and relate it to what I actually learned. Um, I'm going um, to bring out another little scripture in Romans. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. It says, For whatso whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And see, that's the point. Through these scriptures, we get this wisdom and understanding. It's going to prepare you for these times that's coming up. Like that famine, them race wars, that martial law. 
man, it's, the time is it's finna get real hectic out here. It's gonna be so scary, man. And if you don't got these, these this this understanding of these books, like this former knowledge of the things that was written before time, you gonna be bugged the fuck out. You ain't gonna know what the hell to do, man. That's why I'm I'm reading the scripture again. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. We're supposed to learn from things like, you know, I, um, it's a, a little example. You learn from your mistakes. So say if you touch a hot-ass stove as a child. When you get older, you're not going to touch a hot-ass stove again. You know that shit going to burn you. These things, this gives you the way, of, it gives you the example of how to live and how not to live. The example is like, all right. In the scripture, somebody did something that offended the most high and killed him. What well, you gonna think in your head? Well, shit, I shouldn't do that shit. It says that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So through these scriptures, that's how we gonna get our hope, man. And now, um, I'm gonna bring out my last scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. It says... And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. You only get this wisdom and knowledge from these books. From this book, actually, but the books that are written within it. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And strength of thy salvation. Stability means basically means strength to keep you strong. Like stable. This table is stable. It's strong. It's sturdy. It's not going to move. It's going to keep you hard. Of thy times and the strength of thy salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Because you ultimately got to feel the Lord to do this work. That's where your faith really come in, man. If you feel the Lord, you got faith in the Lord. You got faith that the Lord going to destroy this place. You going to have faith like, man, I don't want to be destroyed with this place. I mean, man, it, it, it's simple, man. You just, just be circumspect, man. Be careful out here, man. And keep that faith, man. With that, I'd like to give all praises, glory, honor, and respect to unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, the honors to DL, the apostles, the great male staff, and I do real well. And salutations to the Aki, my pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. With that, I'd like to say Shalom.